What's up traders? So just a quick one on natural gas, gold and crude oil today as usual. So let's start our analysis first with Awanda here on natural gas. So right now, what do we have here? As you can see, we had a heartbreaker trade here and I had my stop loss hit. Yes, indeed. And as you can see, I did not enter here on this engulfer. I was, I was actually enter in a less aggressive way. So I was waiting for another retest of this double top. And as you can see, we've got a nice entry reason to enter. That can happen in trading, guys. We can't be accurate every single time. And I had my stop loss here to protect my account balance. And this was a losing trade, unfortunately. But that is totally fine. But now what to expect next from National Gas? Oh, as you know, the rules of the market, that if the market breaks above the resistance, then that resistance will turn into support. So let me change the color of that as well. So as you can see, the market is now broken above the previous resistance that will now turn into support. And according to the laws of the market, if the market breaks and close above the previous level of resistance, that turn into a buying or a support zone. So at this point, if you know how to take my Fibonacci trades, I will mark my Fibonacci zone from the first level first. Right here, this is the first level of support. The top one looks like the market has broken below the 50% retracement. So at this point, yeah, we can still expect a push up. If we have a push up from here with the next engulfing candle, then this is the target I, I will be looking to exit my trade, which is 9.549. So this is the first level. And now, as you can see, the market is pushing down and we can push our buffer zone below now. And as you can see, as you know, I mark my zone from 50% retracement to 25% retracement. So at this point, yeah, this is my buffer zone now, which is 8.948 that goes down to 8.747. Now, here you can see we already have a retest with this red candle. And now the, the aggressive way to enter is just right here. And if we have a push up, we can expect a market to hit 9.774 that can go up to 9.805 from where I will exit my trade and will look for a further pullback with an engulfing candle to take my long trades to the next level of resistance, which, which I'm going to show you momentarily. So now at this point, this is the second level and this is our buffer zone. And now you can see this is our support as well. And buffer zone is now aligning with the previous level of resistance as well, adding and adding a confluence. And by the time we get a push down, we have a correction in RSI and market will be ready to push up. Now what will happen if the market pushes up from here? Once we have a push up and we have a pullback, then we move up to this zone. This is a minor level of resistance. This is not a major level of resistance, guys. If you want to mark, mark this down on your charts, it is 10.406 that goes up to 10.90. So this is a zone I will be paying attention to, to take my sell trade either as an engulfer or a double top move. But as this is a minor level of resistance, I will be entering in a less aggressive way as a double top entries because this zone is likely to be broken if the market reaches but i'll still look for the conditions at that time and what do we have above that as this is a minor zone we have a level right above this minor zone that level is from 13.5 to 8 that goes up to 14.263 so this is a zone a major level of zone from where i'll be looking to enter in an aggressive way yes if you have a very good push up this is a zone i'll be paying attention to to take my short trades but right now let me show you this zone this red zone now why i'm calling it a minor zone so here you can see if you look back market pushed up way up after going through this zone and you can see the market pushed up from this zone and after that we had a push up from here so we do not have much levels from where the market reacted i want to see a good three level three to four four level but after that we have a very very major zone if you look left so at this point i'm expecting a market to push up and then the level i'm expecting to exit my trade 9.820 from where I will look for a further pullback to take my long trades from. I will update you guys accordingly. So now I will not enter any sell trades until we hit this zone or we push down from this green zone 8.540. Once the market is below 50 EMA, then I will look for short as now we are in a buying area. Right here on capital.com, you can see, let's mark the first level here. Now, if we have a push up from here, this is our buffer zone right here. As you can see, the market has broken below the buffer zone, but still retesting the previous level of resistance that has now turned into support. So now 
If you have a push up from here, this is the level I'll be exiting my trade 7.9.721 from the first zone. That, or if you have another further retracement right here, and this is my buffer zone. And here you can see we already got a retest of this buffer zone. And now the aggressive way to enter is just right at the retest. And then you can expect a target to hit 9.939 from where I'll be exiting my trade. And after that, I will look for a good push down. So now if you want to wait for an extra confluence, you can wait for an extra red and then green candle to take your long trades. And if you want to enter in a less aggressive way. So at this point, I'm not selling. I'm only buying until we hit this next minor level of resistance that is 11.16 that goes up to 11.92 once we hit this zone i will look for a less uh, an aggressive way to enter which is an engulfing pattern and or a less aggressive way as a double top pattern as this is the minor level of resistance i'll be looking to enter in a less aggressive way but if we have a break and close above which is likely and i see the potential in a market to push up even further because of this ukraine and russia tension going up if we have a break and close above this red zone then the next zone i'm paying attention to it's 13.96 that goes up to 14.500 from where i will be looking to enter in an aggressive way as this is a very good level to take your sell trades from so at this point market is still in a bullish momentum as we are now broken above broken above the previous high and we have market made a new high and now this zone will act as a support to push our market up so right here let's check gold now as you can see as per my yesterday's video i was waiting for the market to hit this zone to take my sell trades and as you can see the market quite reaches near to this zone but before it hit this zone completely it falls down so now it's still in a buying zone that could be a pullback and as you can see if the market pushes up and we have a break and close above this red candle which is 1854 if we have that then there's a very likely chance that the market will break above this previous high and can make a new high and hit 1872 and it goes up to 1881 from where i will look for a good selling reason this is the minor zone guys i will only enter in a less aggressive way to take my trades from once we hit the zone i will check the momentum accordingly so at this point gold is in a bullish momentum and this could be a pullback only i will not take sell trades until we have a complete break and close below this green zone 1830 and then i will look for a retest to take my sell trades from asset crude oil so now crude oil is in the same situation as you can see crude oil is in a ranging mode it's not actually moving much and now i can expect a good push up anytime out of crude oil and once we have a good push up this is a zone i will be looking to enter my sell trades from 117 this is a very major level of resistance and once we hit this zone i will be looking to enter in an aggressive way from this zone so wait for the market to push up here not selling at this point for crude oil so that's all for now guys so if you want to follow me on twitter now i have a link down below my friend introduced me to this new twitter space thing which i was not familiar with before but he told me that we can do a live call there where i can connect with my audience and we can do a live interactions and if you have any questions i can answer that or we can talk about the further upcoming op trading opportunities so i'm just planning to do that when I have once i have a good amount of audience so that we can discuss about the trading opportunities and any questions you may have so links are in the description if you want to join there as well that will be a good idea too interact with each other so any questions buzz me on instagram i will get back to you asap hope you trade green rest of the week see you guys in the next video till then take care